Well, hello there, and welcome back to Built Fixed. Today is accessory day. I have a new accessory for my Hammer K3, which also fits the Hammer B3 and C3. Let's check it out. So I've had this idea for a couple projects now. Wouldn't it be great to have more than one cross-cut stop? So now I have a second one. So if I'm working on a project, I've got a part all dialed in. There's now no reason to disrupt the dialed in cross-cut stop. Just simply use the other one. So I think if you have projects where you're working on multiple parts at the same time, it might be smart to consider a second cross-cut stop. The second accessory I now have is an extension device for my cross-cut fence here. The cross-cut fence has come, I believe, as mine is a 1300 millimeter long cross-cut or a 900 millimeter long cross-cut. I have the 1300 and with this extension device you can now gain approximately 750 millimeters of additional cross-cut capacity. Let's go with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, you know, I guess with every device, there's a price point that a company can charge their products at, and there's a level people will pay. Uh, and I think that at 73 euros for this setup here, you get the bar. Well, I don't believe you've got this here. You got the bar here, and you have the piece of aluminum extrusion, and you have a scale that can be applied. The price point's probably very fair and good. It's about $100. Um, if I were to go out and buy square tube or aluminum extrusion, uh, to probably to find somebody who would sell such a short piece would be difficult, so I would end up spending a lot more money. But then again, I would have stock left over. I think it's really an A-plus win for Felder to have incorporated a way to extend the range of the crosscut here. There are times, and I have more and more projects now, where I'm using my Hammer K3 to crosscut something, rather than take the time on my Festool Capex 120 to make a crosscut. Well, coming back to price point, I really wish that Felder would just simply apply the scale. You have these two scales, uh, one with adhesive backing, which should be uh, carefully applied to the square tube bar, which you can see I haven't done yet, and a metal scale, which fits into the profile here of aluminum extrusion. To uh, This allows you to get the last little bit of four inches on your extrusion, extrusion and the other one allows you to see how far you've come out when your stop is all the way up against the, uh, the stop nut here in the extrusion. I think that probably for this type of machine just charging if it was another 15 or maybe 50 euros I don't know price to have a scale already incorporated on this steel bar would be much nicer. And I would go so far as to say, there's probably no need to have a sticker. Why not just do a scribed method here? Get this precision scribed on the steel bar, and then you can fine tune the adjustment of that scribing by relocating your aluminum extrusion here with a set screw, which is already provided in this extrusion anyhow. Uh, just a thought. I think that uh, many users probably just want to buy the accessory and then be able to plug and play the thing and maybe turn a screw here or there to get the final setup dialed in. But I think applying a sticker decal scale is a bit cheesy. Now I'll give you a quick little tip here in just a moment and show you a way to make your setup a little bit less of a hassle um, because there is one thing you should know. Okay, now we're at the underside of the cross-cut fence here. You have this uh, knob, and this knob is how you lock your cross-cut extension uh, device from moving. When you get your kit here, 
you're going to have the, the knob and this nut will be separate. So you'll have to find a setting here on this knob where this lock nut fits nicely. For me, I found that about this far down worked really well to come up and tighten into the um, bar here. The tricky part is inside you have one of these uh, nuts that slide down inside the aluminum extrusion track. You need to find a way to get your nut down in here, but whatever you do, don't get that nut past this hole. Otherwise, you'll be removing your entire crosscut fence here to shake it back out again. So what I did, and I would recommend perhaps you do, is take your Allen wrench and stick it up inside the hole here, and then start your nut in part way and give it a good you know, flick to send it flying down. It'll hit the Allen wrench and stop. Then take your Allen wrench and just very carefully uh, pull it over the rest of the way or otherwise gently uh, push it down until the hole um, lines up with the hole in the extrusion here. Okay, you have two scales here that are provided. You'll probably notice right away one counts up and one counts down. And the reason for that is they have different functions. Uh, the one with adhesive backing goes onto the metal bar and the other one without adhesive uh, slips into the extrusion here and has to be cut off by the user to the right length that matches the setup for cross cutting you already have. Mine's 1300 so I will extend my cross cut capacity when this is in all the way out an additional approximately, I don't know, 100 uh, millimeters, 4 inches or so. And it's locked in place by this nut locking device here on the end of the extrusion. Now, if I had this installed here, you could probably get a good visualization on how it works. If you imagine this is down on the bar here, as you pull the bar out, the numbers will then tick up higher and higher. I think it could have been very nice, as another point, if Felder had thought about some sort of uh, indicator that would, a uh, pointer that would point to where you are on the scale, just like they've done here for their uh, cross cutoff stops here and had some sort of pointer system. Uh, having the scale and having to line up with the edge of the aluminum extrusion here to see for a reading, I have a feeling will be very much like the rip fence on this saw. A little bit difficult to uh, perhaps get a very precise reading on. So that's one point where I think that they could perhaps improve this system. All right, the last bit of this video has to do with the fit and finish of this product and packaging. Uh, I've had a lot of issues here uh, where I am uh, with packaging and the shipper being very rough with packages. Now one thing Felder could do to make this a bit better product would be to probably, if you're not going to scribe onto the steel bar a scale, at least cut this scale material here to a length that Perhaps it's still a rough length, but a length that fits as one piece flat in the box. Uh, the box that this device comes in is about a box this square by about one meter long. And they have taken the scale and done something approximately like this and shoved it in the box. And of course, with things moving about in shipping, things get bent. Uh, both scales have damage on them. Uh, fortunately for me, given the length cross cut fence I have here, the 1.3 meter cross cut fence, I'll be okay and spared. But if you had had the 900 millimeter cross cut fence, you can see here in this example how you'd be probably pretty mad right about now. Uh, there's a bad crease here right around the 1 uh, meter mark and also down into the 95 centimeter mark, right exactly in the spot where you'd have to have uh, this cut off to be used on the aluminum profile piece. So probably when you open the box, take a quick look at your scales and make sure that they don't have damage. Um, I'm sure your Felder rep will take care of you if there's a problem. My Felder rep here has been fantastic when I've had issues uh, and very quick and prompt to rectify those problems. But there's probably really no need to have damage like this. Felder, just please cut the scale a little bit shorter and then shove it in the box and probably life will be good.
Well, in future videos, I plan to do even more Felder Hammer reviews and show even more accessories that are possible to fit onto your machine, such as this, God, it's a beast, uh, Felder 800 millimeter long table extension, along with their adjustable height leg attached. And this will fit across their product line on any of the machines and just allow you to extend that table out a bit further. Uh, my plan is to probably install it uh, when doing very, very long jointing on my Hammer A3. But it's about all the time I have for today, so you know the drill if you like it. But whatever you do, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.